What's up you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, today I wanted to talk about some potential tier 3 options for if Hasbro really does end up doing a tier 3 for, for uh, Omega Prime. I hope they do, but at the same time I don't think they, do, they will because I'm pretty sure they would have announced it by now. Uh, and plus with all that, I think everything that we know of so far that is going to be included with this guy, especially the stands and the sword, I think it really does, you know, m make up the 250 price point. I've done a video on this like a week or two ago, so if you want to go uh, check it out, it's on my channel. Just scroll through a few of my videos. If they do a third tier, these are the options that came to my mind there may be a few different options with you guys watching this video let me know in the comments but the first one here that i have listed now missiles for ultra magnus's machine gun if you guys remember in the original figure there were two white missiles that came with him that were spring-loaded i'm not expecting no spring-loaded missiles in this day and age and to be quite frank with you i really don't care if they are spring-loaded or not i <laughs> i'm not five years old anymore i don't care about spring-loaded missiles uh, what i do care about is options for photography and stop motions and that would create a lot of options having removable missiles that plug into those two holes that you see on the blue bolt machine gun for magnus um maybe they just left those holes there for blast effects that may be why but i'd assume there was something there for maybe plug-in missiles that aren't spring-loaded i don't know i just hope maybe at some point down the line if it's not a tier that we get those two missiles one way or another that would be really cool to help complete the look of ultra magnus's machine gun even though i do really like the reinvention of him being a character in its own right and being a weaponizer at that so uh but yeah missiles for magnus's gun is an option another option i wrote down here is Similar to what we got with Desaurus and Victor Saber having the two Micro Masters, maybe, just maybe, they could do one or two Spy Changers. Now, if I was totally in control of how I would do Spy Changers, they would be Deluxe Class or Core Class releases. And they would have a lot more going on with them than just what you would see with your typical MicroMaster that would be packed in with these, like with the uh, Boater and Holly and whatever the other names were for Victory Saber and Deathsaurus MicroMasters. Um, but if they were to be included with these, I'd assume they would be in the same vein as, again, those ones that came with the Victory Saber and Deathsaurus. So maybe one or two of those wouldn't be too bad. Maybe Ironhide or what was another one? Mirage. There was a bunch of different spy changers from that cartoon. There's a lot to choose from. But if I were to guess these are going to be mainline releases at either core class or deluxe class one of these days. It's still not the question yet. We still got like two and a half weeks left to go. Maybe. Just maybe they could do these as a third tier, uh, kind of like a MicroMaster, but who knows. Uh, next option here, effects pieces. It, it's kind of a shock to me that, they are, that there aren't any, any effects pieces for this set because there's been effects for the last two Haslabs. And especially since there's so many different options you could choose from for effects for these two, there's energy lightning effects, there's like power up effects you could do. I mean, this is an anime, so there's a lot of different effects going on in each action scene or combination scene or transformation scene. So, I mean, you could do water effects for Optimus's hose and you could do laser effects for his fingers or his ear tips because if you remember in the cartoon, those were well. Uh, th those were weapons he used sometimes during battle. Uh, there's obviously the typical blast effects that we've seen for the past five years since Siege that they could just recolor and include in this set 
similar to what they did with Desaurus and Victory Saber. So there's a lot of different options for effects. I'm just surprised those haven't been baked into this set yet. Maybe they are for the third tier. Again, we don't know for sure, or at least I don't know for sure if there is going to be a third tier or not. Let me know in the comments if anybody's heard any news on whether or not there really is a third tier for this Omega Prime. Um, and then the last third tier option that I could think of for today is either Tai or Koji. Uh, if you guys don't remember, Tai is the AI system that basically helps run the Autobot base. It's that female with like the pink dress and the hat or whatever. Um, that would be pretty cool as like a mini action figure with, you know, five points of articulation with maybe an elbow and a knee joint added onto that. Um, and for Koji, if you guys remember who, who he is, he is the main human protagonist. He's the young kid that's the son of, I think it was the professor in the show that gets kidnapped by, by Megatron in like the first episode of the show. Uh, so that would be cool to be included. You know, you could fit him inside the front section of Optimus because there is space and molded in details in the front of that truck mode there for Optimus to fit stuff in, similar to the original figure too. So I don't know if they were just copying how that original figure looked and they wanted to keep it nice and clean and semi-realistic looking and accurate to the anime and the original toy, or they actually do have plans to include a Koji figure at some point to actually fit inside that optimus i don't know that's just me speculating but either of those two human characters or what well not really human for ty she's an ai thing but any of those two human-esque characters we'll say uh would be really cool to be included as a third tier it would be something different that you don't really see with transformers has labs we haven't had you know protagonist human or ai characters included as an add-on tier before so that would be a nice little option and i'm sure that would make a bit more of an incentive for people to go ahead and back this thing for those of you that are still on the fence about it or still haven't really found a need to back it uh, because, you know, we really don't get a lot of human characters made within the Transformers toy line from Hasbro. So that would be a nice option for them to do. I don't know whether or not they are. I mean, if one, if, uh, one of the people at Hasbro are by any chance watching this video, add a third tier. It would definitely help. But I don't know, they're well on their way to funding the second tier, so maybe they're not going to do one. And it seems like with everything else, again, like I said earlier in the video, baked into the cost, I don't think there really is room for a third tier. But again, there is a possibility they could announce one, you know, to really stretch out how many people fund this thing. Because at the end, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, the more people that fund this thing, the more money Hasbro makes. Uh, so maybe they are, you know, drafting up an incentive for a third tier for more people to back this thing. But those are my four options that I think would be really ideal for a cool third tier that would reel in more people and get more people hyped for this thing. Even though there already is, you know, a ton of hype for this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. What do y'all think about my options here? Do you think they are good? Are there any other options you would throw out there for a third tier for Omega Prime? All my social medias are linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. My email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries, if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or just regular display shelves in their homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social medias or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!